Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to do a review on this OXO Brew Conical Burr Grinder. Model number 87170000. Normally retails for about $105. I found one used on Amazon for $75. So this is for grinding whole bean coffee. Comes with a really nice manual. So let's take a look at the grinder. The thing I like about it is I do like this stainless steel container that holds the, the ground coffee. This just snaps on. With this being steel, it eliminates static, a lot of static electricity and it pours out of there really nice. It's got this dial. Now I wish the dial would have been more specific. It's for seconds that it's on and you got to kind of play around with it to figure out how many cups, you know, 20 seconds is it's got a push button here and it shuts off automatically. So you just push the button, it grinds for 20 seconds and shuts off. Here we've got the bean hopper. This is where you put the beans. This is an unlock and a lock. So turn this to unlock and the bean hopper will pull off. Now by doing that, that should close off some of the beans. So you could theoretically take this off with the beans in it and it would keep them from spilling out because when you turn that to open, then it opens it up. So this is a conical burr grinder. It says that that is a, it says that that is a 40 millimeter burr grinder. So we can take this, lift this little lever up here and rotate this and it will pop out. Now, when you've got ground coffee in here, this can be really hard to get out, but there's, it is made to be cleaned. Now that seems like plastic right there, and there's a screw. I'm not, I've not had that screw off. So there's where the, the it's gonna come out. Let's look at the bottom, it's got these rubber feet. Again, there's the model number. It says it's 1,500, no, 150 watts max is what it is, 150 watts. I'm used to coffee makers that are in the thousands. 120 volts, 60 hertz. And again, this is, so let's put it back together. So again, you're just gonna line this up and then you're gonna turn this to where it locks. Now I've got my line where I need it. This is for setting the core fine or coarse. It says it's got 15 settings, but it's got intermittent, intermittent clicks in each one of those. So there's medium, which is eight. And again, so let's put this in. This slides in real easy. It kind of snaps in. So it says it holds 0.75 pounds of beans or 16 ounces and it's it's got UV protection in the plastic to help uh, prevent the UV light from getting to the uh, coffee beans let's go over dimensions real quick so it's about 12 and a half almost 13 inches tall front to back is about eight inches and at its widest point it's about oh I'd say about five inches it's not a very big footprint it's it's taller than anything else but it doesn't seem unstable Cord is a three prong cord and it's over three feet long. It's 42 inches long. Nice long cord. So earlier I forgot to put the, put this back in. And again, if you do any work down in here at all, there, there can't be any coffee beans in, in there. So make sure that's all cleaned out. You're gonna put that in and then it's gonna rotate and click. So you rotate it and pull out and you put it in. I wish there was more markings. There's not a lot of markings to kind of show you where to line it up and where to click. This handle will store on either side. So again, the bean hopper will go one of two ways. The, 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 this line isn't on the bean hopper. I was wrong earlier. So if you just keep rotating it and it'll fall into place, once it falls into place, then turn this to the lock position. You can see there's a lock 
and it unlocks it. When it's locked, it's not going to come out when it's locked. And now I can rotate it to get my grind. Okay, so I've got the bean hopper in. This lid just kind of pops on. It doesn't screw on or anything. I like to use mine for a drip coffee maker, so I put it on the 8. That's a medium grind. The manual is pretty good in this setting, so if you're doing espresso, 1 to 5, pour over 6 to 10, and a French press, cold brew, 11 to 15. So that corresponds with here. So a French press would be 11 to 15, which it says coarse. And there's kind of like a line there, and then medium. Then espresso is down here. So it did come with a scoop. I, I misplaced it right now. I don't have the scoop. But that's all it comes. It doesn't come with a brush or anything. So you are going to have to play around with this. They're just not specific about the time. So grinding time depends on how much coffee you're making, your method of brewing, and how strong or mild you brew. The best way time is through experimentation. So you are going to have to play around with it. But I can tell you these are seconds. Now, I, I did some playing around with it. So for like a 12-cup coffee maker, um, usually around 25 seconds to 30 seconds was enough for 12 tablespoons. I do 8 cups. And I did around the 20 second mark. So this dial turns pretty easy. So I'm not going to do a full grind. I'm going to do a, I'm going to do one right in the middle for fine, then medium, then coarse. And I'm just going to show you, I'm not going to show you, show you each setting. And I'm only going to run it for a little bit on each one. So here's fine three right in the middle. There are no lights that light up. It's not super loud. So there were no lights. It shuts off automatically. And let's take a look. I like that it, it a lot of it, all of it comes out of there pretty easy. So there, so that's pretty fine. I'm pretty impressed with that. Now, from what I read online, conical conical grinders compared to a burr grind, a flat burr grinder these things excel with finer coffee with grinding finer coffee for like espresso they don't do as well when you want to get into the course but i like that it's quiet and it does a, it does a pretty good job okay now let's just do a coffee pot an eight automatically let's see how it pours so yeah we can start to see that it's definitely noticeably you know it's pretty uniform um, I still see some fines and then some medium and again I love this container because everything comes out of it it stays relatively clean okay so I've got it on the 13 which is right in the middle of course I'm not gonna do quite as much Okay. Okay, noticeably coarse. Noticeably. And to me it doesn't seem super um uniform. It's coarse, but it, you definitely have a lot of fines in there too. And so something else I just noticed um I had this on the same time relatively, is when you do a finer, you don't get as much. Even though I had these on the same time, I get more when I do the coarse coffee grounds, actual ground coffee. So that kind of makes sense. Um, so your time is going to depend on how much or how fine of coffee grounds. So I, I kind of get why they're not able to put, okay, 12 cups, 20 cups, or eight cup coffee because you do have to kind of play around with it a little bit because you're going to get a different amount depending on how, where you've got this set. And what I did is I just kept grinding it and I would measure each, each tablespoon and, or you can weigh it. I know I'm not into weighing my coffee yet before I brew it. I just do basically one tablespoon per cup I'm going to brew. So I really like this, coffee, this um, grinder. It's quiet. It does a good job. It fits under the cabinet. 
I am going to show you clean up a little bit because these things, that's kind of where things aren't as good in my opinion. So let's just do how we're supposed to do. So we turn this to, okay, then I can take this off. Now see, you're going to have a bunch of beans in there still, but at least I can take the hopper off and they don't fall out of it. So you're going to want to undo these and they get impacted down in there. Uh, again, make sure this is unplugged. Sometimes turning this to get this back out can be kind of tricky. So see how there's coffee beans in there now? That's preventing me from turning this. And you can break this little handle off. So sometimes you got to be persistent. Um, they do have brushes. You can get in there and kind of get those coffee grounds out. Most uh, grinders come with a brush. This one did not, though. So just be patient. Oh, see, this one's turning the whole thing. Okay, see, so something I noticed is, so when, when this one works, I think it unlocks it automatically. What I've noticed is so when I take mine to, so see how when I put it in, that's locked. But every time I take the hopper off, like I've used it for a while, and I take the hopper off and I'm like, oh, I'm trying to turn this to the left to get it to unlock, it's already in that position. So it's almost like when the grinder is being used, it rotates this to the unlock position. So I'm not sure about that. I would not have thought that it would do that. Because then you can just simply pull up. So, uh, you know, what's the point of locking it if it's going to unlock it, you know. But I haven't had a problem with it yet. Sometimes it can just be tricky getting that conical grinder out with coffee beans in there. They can really get, get really in there pretty good. Then you just simply put the hopper back on, turn that. Let's see how, so that's not getting too dirty. A lot of times they, um, coffee grounds build up on that pretty good. So all in all, pretty nice uh, grinder. Check out my next video. I'm gonna be doing a unboxing and a detailed re review on this Mr. Coffee Grinder. And I've got one already on this uh, Cuisinart, but I'll do a comparison video with all three of these grinders next. Again, we can see the large quantities that you get differently based on how much time. So thanks everybody for watching. If you could, please like and subscribe.